In October 2024, new satellite imagery unveiled a significant surge in China's production of launchers for the DF-26 ballistic missile, signaling a notable enhancement of the nation's strategic arsenal. An image captured on September 9, 2024, by Umbra Synthetic Aperture Radar SAR, revealed 59 mobile launchers at the Xinhong Electromechanical Equipment Production Site in Beijing. This development underscores China's growing military capabilities and raises substantial strategic concerns, particularly for the United States. The DF-26, an intermediate-range ballistic missile IRBM, from the Dongfeng family, was developed by the China Aerospace Science and Technology Corporation CSC. With a formidable range of 4,000 kilometers, the DF-26 is the first Chinese missile designed to strike conventional targets, including U.S. military bases in Guam. This solid-fuel, two-stage missile measures 14 meters in length and weighs approximately 20 tons. It has a payload capacity ranging from 1,200 to 1,800 kilograms, allowing for the delivery of nuclear warheads as well as various conventional munitions. The missile is deployed on a mobile Tyan HDF-5680 launcher, enabling rapid and discrete positioning. The DF-20 SIXS modular design allows for the warheads to be swapped based on mission requirements, supporting both land strikes and attacks on moving naval targets, bolstered by an advanced terminal guidance system. Since its introduction in 2015, production of the DF-26 has accelerated significantly, with estimates indicating that over 250 units have been produced by 2024. The brigades of the People's Liberation Army PLA, equipped with these missiles benefit from their mobility and precision strike capabilities, targeting a wide array of assets, including military installations and medium-sized vessels. This operational flexibility, combined with the DF-20 SEXS extended range, positions it as a pivotal component of China's anti-access and area denial strategy in the Asia-Pacific region. Between 2023 and 2024, Satellite imagery and industry reports suggest that the Beijing Xinhong facility has produced at least 72 new launchers, sufficient to equip two additional missile brigades. These new units would augment the existing seven brigades of the PLA, bringing the total number of DF-26 launchers to approximately 250. However, some analysts, particularly from the Federation of American Scientists, caution that China may be inflating the actual number of launchers, potentially obscuring the true extent of its military capabilities. The DF-26 represents an evolution in China's missile technology, offering enhanced strategic capabilities compared to earlier models like the DF-21. Its extended range, coupled with improved accuracy through satellite-assisted inertial guidance, makes it a significant threat to high-value targets such as military bases, airports, and naval installations. The prospective integration of terminal guidance may enable the DF-26 to undertake anti-ship missions, posing a risk to U.S. carrier strike groups operating within the Pacific theater. The recent uptick in DF-26 production is perceived as a reaction to shifting dynamics in U.S. military presence and alliances across the Indo-Pacific, particularly surrounding Taiwan and the South China Sea. This expansion of China's missile capabilities may also reflect an intention to challenge U.S. access to strategic bases critical for supporting regional alliances with countries like Japan and South Korea. The rising tensions in the region, Alongside the dual-use, nuclear and conventional nature of the DF-26, heighten concerns regarding the risk of unintended escalation during a crisis, especially if a conventional strike is misinterpreted as a nuclear threat. As China continues to bolster its strategic forces, it is simultaneously enhancing its nuclear capabilities. U.S. estimates indicate that by 2030, China's nuclear arsenal could surpass 1,000 warheads, predominantly comprising intercontinental missiles. In parallel, China is actively working to increase the number of long-range missile launchers, including the DF-31 and DF-41, which possess the capability to reach the U.S. mainland. The expansion of China's missile arsenal, exemplified by the DF-26, represents a critical shift in the strategic landscape of the Asia-Pacific region. As China enhances its military capabilities, the implications for U.S. defense strategies and regional security become increasingly complex. Monitoring these developments will be crucial for understanding the evolving dynamics of power in the region and the potential risks associated with China's growing military might.